Hello everybody and welcome to a very very long overdue stacking the shelves. I checked on my blog and I haven't done a stacking the shelves since August 10th and that wasn't a vlog so I don't even know how long it's been since I've done one of those. Um, as you can see my hair is still terrible. <laughs> Um, it's starting to grow back, but it's taking so long. I can't wait to get to like the point where I'm at cute pixie cut instead of this whole man do thing that I have going on. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to be doing a vlog. And this is the first one that I am doing on WordPress. And this is the first one that I'm filming on my iPad on iOS 7. So I'm really hoping that this doesn't turn into be more of a headache than it's worth. And I'm hoping that it actually does end up getting uploaded in the end. Um, so anyways, books. Uh, so I... Okay, we are filming. That would suck if we weren't. Um, I got a lot of books since then. Most of them, looking at the piles, I've bought most of them. So... Yeah. Okay, first of all, this I got in the mail from the lovely Christina of A Reader of Fictions. She sent me The Path of Names by Ari Goldman. This looks like a really cute middle grade novel, and I love the cover. She had reviewed it, and I must have commented on it, and then she sent it to me. Or I don't remember, because she takes so long to send things. <laughs> and she's now famous for that. <laughs> But it's good because then when the book does come, it's a complete surprise because you've completely forgotten about it. Um, from Harper Collins Canada, I got 359 by Gretchen McNeil. I've already reviewed this one and the review has already been on the blog. It was okay, much, much too sciencey. Um, I was definitely disappointed after having liked 10 so much, but I'll still give her other books to try. Um, from St. Martin's Press, I got a finished copy of Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I had ended up getting an e-galley of this one. Um, so I've already reviewed it and it's already up on the blog, so I will link to that. This was adorable. Too much fan fiction though, but very good. Once again, not as good as the other book I read by the author, Eleanor and Park, I liked a lot better, but it was still good. Um, and also from St. Martin's Press, I got What Goes Around by Courtney Summers. This is a collection of two of her books, Cracked Up to Be and Some Girls Are. Both books are absolutely amazing. St. Martin's Press was so sweet to send me a copy, and I got to do a giveaway, which is already over, and the winner's already been sent their book, and, but yeah, I'm very excited for this, because I do plan to reread her books one day, you know, when I start rereading books. Um, from... Raincoast Books. I got The In Between by Barbara Stewart. This looks good. Possibly Parallel Universe? Opens a door to an, a world inhabited by Madeline Taurus. Something like that. She gets in an accident, then there's like two of her or something. I don't know. Sounds good. Um, and from Hatchet Book Group Canada, I got These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. This cover is adorable, but I'm hoping that I can like it because I've been, ever since I went on my break, I've been in this crazy, only contemporary, can satisfy me funk, and I really want to get out of it. But I don't know if I will. Maybe that's just the kind of reader I am, I guess. Um, and I also got Reality Boy by A.S. King from them. I'm so excited for this. I love, love, love A.S. King. She's a fabulous author, and I really, really can't wait to read this story. So those are all the books that I got from publishers or friends, um, and the rest are books that I have bought. Um, so after reading, after finally being beaten over the head enough by Christina Verruder Fictions to read Croak, I was quick to order the second book and pre-order the third book. So I got Scorch and Rogue by Gina D'Amico, and I really, really can't wait to continue on with this. Holy oh, in the sunlight here. These are like the shiniest books ever. Um, but I really can't wait to get to read more of these. Um, I need to sneak them in very, very, very soon. Um, I also bought, after seeing the movie trailer, I bought The Spectacular Now by Tim Tharp. The movie looks really, really good, and um, 
it seems like a book that I would like. It's a contemporary. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. Um, I bought The Distance Between Us by Cassie West. I read this. It was adorable. Super cute. Ending was a bit too abrupt for me. But it was good. The review was already on the blog. Uh, I also bought Crazy by Amy Reed. I've never read anything by her, but I do have a few of her books. This one was hardcover and it was on sale for $5.99, so who can argue with that? Um, so I do want to read that. I bought Two Boys Kissing by David Levithan. And I did try to start reading this one, but I ended up putting it down. I cannot, um, I couldn't get into the writing. It, it's written like, like people are watching everything happen. Like we, we were once the ones who were living and then we were the ones who were dying. And we watch Adam go into the gym for the prom. We watch it. I, the writing just wasn't for me. And I'm really sad because I was very excited for this book. Um, and yesterday I actually went for coffee with Christy Lynn of Reading in Winter, and I bought some bookish goodies there. I bought Dark Eyes by William Richter. This one, Giselle of Expresso Reads says, is very much like a YA kind of girl with a dragon tattoo, and it was super cheap. <laughs> Look at all the sales stickers on all my books. Um, so I'm excited for that. I bought Burn for Burn by Jenny Han and Shabon Vivian. Uh, I've heard really good things about this one. Total high school drama book. My kind of thing. And I also bought um, Sisterhood Everlasting by Anne Brashares. I remember reading The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, I think, when I was in junior high. And I saw this and I got so excited and I bought it because it was on sale. And then I realized that I remember nothing of the books. Um, Christina was saying that she was sad that one of her favorite characters died. And I was thinking, I was like, I can't even remember anybody's name in the book. I remember there was a Lena and a Kostos or something. But that's about all I remember of the characters. So maybe I'll have to um, start it and see if I can get into it. And if I can't, maybe I'll have to read the other ones or watch the movies <laughs> for the other ones. Just so I'm all caught up again. But yeah, those are all the books that I have gotten since August 10th. Um, well, I got some ebooks, but I'll just link to those down below. Um, thank you for watching, and have a fabulous weekend. Bye!